because this is a blue base, I don't want it to look like a green center. So what I do is I really layer it on here because I want to make sure that I overcome, I overcome the blue on the undercoat here, the blue undercolor. I try to really make it appear yellow. Now the rest of your forget-me-not doesn't have to remain just straight blue. You can do other things. Here I've got royal blue, marine blue, Green blue is very dark. Royal blue is really blue. And uh, what we can do is take a little brush, take a dash of that, a dash of that, and you'll notice what I do is I brush it out on the paper to see how it looks, what kind of color I'm getting. And what I'm going to do here with this is I'm just going to go underneath these pebbles. I want to create a little bit of a shadow. It's a really subtle uh, shadow in certain parts to kind of give this a little bit more three-dimensional quality. And the reason I'm doing this, this is all personal taste stuff. I just think it looks good with a little bit of shadow. But it's up to you how you want to color your flowers. Let's say you made forget-me-nots that aren't blue. There's several people who did that. I saw in the other class too, a couple people made peach colored forget-me-nots and things like that. If you went with a different color, you may find yourself with, with very different choices um, as to what you would like to do with that color and what you'd like to do with shading and that kind of thing. Now what I'm doing here is I'm going to go along one side of each petal and I'm creating a little darker color on one side of each petal to create the effect of a directional light. When I do that, what's going to happen is it's going to create the illusion that light is being cast on this flower in one direction instead of in one side of shadow. And that's subtle. If you pass that around, you can probably see how it, how it just makes a difference in how it looks. Now, like getting back to facial makeup, um, facial makeup is designed to do the same thing. When you put makeup on your cheeks, right, what's it designed to do? When you put like a color, creates you know, highlight, you can highlight the height of your cheekbone, or you can try to enhance what looks like uh, a little bit more, a little bit more of a shadow underneath the cheekbone. Right? That's the idea. You're creating that illusion. So even if you have, even if, um, like I, an old friend of mine back in California used to, t she used to always tell me she had chipmunk cheeks. That was her complaint. She goes, I can't stand my cheeks. I always look like a chipmunk. Right. So what she do? She always put some makeup right here on the cheeks to give a little shadow effect, just to kind of de-emphasize the chipmunk thing. Um, I thought it was silly. I think she looked great, but you know, and I told her so. But you know, at the same time, uh, she was insistent on this. That she, since she was a teenager, she always thought she had chipmunk cheeks. Makeup does that. It's designed to give you the illusion of some things, to create the illusion of a shadow, the illusion of different contours, things like that. That's one of the ideas what we're trying to do here as well. Create the illusion of, of contour where it doesn't exist. Um, now, getting to a leaf, for example. These leaves are very contoured, lots and lots of texture on them. And yet, they're very flat in color. It's flat in color. So I'm going to take a little bit of this, this little bit of this uh, apple green, and I'm going to hit the high spots on this. And what that does is it lightens up the color slightly on these high areas. And what that's doing, basically, is the high spots, which would normally catch light if light was coming across and hitting it, the high spots are going to get lighter in color. In the meantime, I'm take some forest green. I'm going to go down in the crevices. Enhancing those. Now, you wouldn't want to do this with your makeup. Because if you have crevices on your face, <laughs> the last thing you want to do is enhance it. Right? Everybody tries to hide wrinkles, not enhance them. Unless you're trying to go for a kind of a Halloween look. Um, like, I've seen a couple friends of mine would do that. They would, they would create lines on their face, and then they'd create shadows that worked away from those, made them look like they were, you know, craggy, full of wrinkles. And that works great when you're going for that effect. But here, on this leaf, 
it's designed to enhance the texture regardless of the light that's actually in the room. We're going to try, we're trying to enhance and accentuate those deeper areas, make them look deeper than usual and uh, making the high areas look lighter. And I'm doing that just, just to create the illusion that there's you know, more than there really is. Yeah, we do this, we do this all the time with our personal appearance. Even men are wearing makeup now. I mean, take a look at some of the guys who play in these in these new bands. Uh, what's his name on? Uh, I think you guys know him. He's the guy on uh, oh, jet black hair with a lot of eye makeup. Green Day. Green Day. Yeah, a yeah, there's a lot of guys. It's not happening, you know, in the larger scale of things. Not all men are wearing makeup, but in in the world of um, in the world of popular culture. You're going to find that there's quite a few men doing this now, and you know what that means, right? If they're doing it, it's only a matter of time before other guys start doing it, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so what I did with this, I made the top have darker crevices, slightly higher, slightly lighter highlights on the back. I did darker crevices and actually took yellow at the highlights on this, and you'll see a difference especially if you compare it to a leaf with nothing. Let me get rid of this cornstarch. Yeah, so if you compare it with that, you'll see the difference. And just like you see in the TV shows, they have like, you know, the world's greatest makeover, and things like that. And they always show the before and after picture. They usually show someone who like has no makeup at all, right? It looks like just got out of bed. And then they show them like all done up. Big difference, right? Um, but in this, you can actually see